Okay, good afternoon graduands and uh, welcome to the very first virtual degree graduation celebration for politics and international relations. Congratulations to all of you, not just for mastering the technology to get here, but most importantly for graduating in your chosen subject, on your chosen pathway and with your chosen specialisms. This is an auspicious day for all of you and I hope you'll all find ways to celebrate accordingly. Now, in terms of our celebration here, while your microphones have, as you'll see for the moment, been uh, muted, please, please do all turn your cameras on so that we can see you out there in the ether and help to celebrate with you. Now, in a moment or two, we're going to ask each and every one of you to contribute to the ceremony by opening the, the chat function. And when we do so, we'd like each of you to describe how you're feeling on this, your graduation day, using up to three adjectives. So if you start to have a think about what those might be now, we'll let you know when the chat function uh, is up and running and you can contribute to that directly. Now, when I first welcomed you as head of school to Leicester three years ago or four years ago, for those of you who've taken up the opportunity of a, of a year abroad, we of course had no way of knowing just how difficult the circumstances of your final year here would be. It's testament to all of your hard work, to the extent of your engagement with your studies, to your determination to see through your endeavour in the most challenging of circumstances and to the development of your skills and your knowledge that we are here today despite a global pandemic despite being locked down again and we're here to celebrate all that you have achieved now i know that in normal times my colleagues in our school look forward to this day almost as much as you do to stand on the stage as you process for your degrees to meet and greet you and your families in the marquee to continue discussions with those, those of you with whom we have worked particularly closely on particular modules, courses, projects, dissertations, and of course to congratulate each and every one of you on your achievements. Now, as you'll know, the chance remains for all of you to come to a physical graduation ceremony in either January or July next year. And I know I speak for my colleagues in the school when I say that I hope we'll be able to welcome you back onto campus physically in the near future to celebrate with you all over again. Now in a moment we'll hear messages from a number of our colleagues across the school who've so enjoyed and evidently greatly valued their interactions with you personally before going on to our annual prize giving ceremony. But before we do so I'd now like to invite all of you to enter those three adjectives which best describe your feelings today as we celebrate your graduation in the chat function which should now be open and available to you. To begin with here though, in a sign of the extent to which colleagues at all levels of our university wish to share in congratulating you on your successes, here's a short message for you from our President and our Vice-Chancellor, Professor Nishan Kanagaraja. Hi, I'm Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the Vice-Chancellor of your university. I was really looking forward to my first summer graduation ceremony with you but we all know why we cannot hold a face-to-face -face event this year. But I just want to tell you how proud we are of your achievements, especially during these difficult times. We as a university community want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. We want you to go out there and make a difference. I want you to make yourself, your family and this university proud. You are are citizens of change. All the best. Now, perhaps slightly closer to home for all of you here, this is now a film made by our colleagues in the school who also, of course, wanted to show their appreciation of all of your efforts too. Huge congratulations, everybody, for getting this far, for riding the Corona Coaster all the way to your virtual graduation and thank you it's been such a pleasure to teach you and learn from you about such a huge range of topics thank you so much for talking about patriarchy about me too about white saviors trans rights and wearing the veil i learned such a lot from being in that classroom with you 
Dear 2020 graduates, congratulations. I hope you have a lovely time today and you're as happy as we are for all of you. I'm extremely proud for all of you for what you have achieved and I root for you for the future. Hello all. Well, this is strange, isn't it? It's a shame we can't be doing this in person. It's always fun to congratulate you on your degrees and it's good to reassure your family that this was all worthwhile. But even though things are still a mess, I do want to say well done to you all, and thank you. It may not always be evident, but I do enjoy being in a classroom, and it's always better when some of you guys are there too. More seriously, those of you I've taught this year or a couple of years ago, I do want to say thank you for your time and your attention, and I hope you got something out of it as well. I haven't really got any life hacks, but do remember what we taught you. In particular, always try to look beyond the BS. Hi everybody, uh, congratulations on graduating today. I know it's slightly unusual this year, but uh, hopefully you're finding a way of celebrating with friends and family. It's been wonderful getting to know you over the past couple of years, experiencing your successes and, and seeing you grow as people and, and scholars. Uh, and I hope you'll keep in contact with us and let us know about your future successes and achievements. To the class of 2020, congratulations, felicidades, Mubarak to all of you that are graduating. But I also want to say thank you. Thanks for taking my modules. Thank you for being great students. And thank you for sharing your stories, your struggles and your successes. I'm so proud to say that I'm part of your community. All the very best. Hello, class of 2020 politics and IR graduates. Although it's really sad that we aren't able to celebrate with you in person, I just wanted to say a massive congratulations to all of you for a really wonderful achievement. You've completed your degrees in really extraordinary and trying circumstances and you should be exceptionally proud of yourselves. You're the first cohort of students that have taught all the way through their degree, degrees since joining Leicester and it's been a real privilege to witness your academic development over the last few years. Congratulations to everybody that's graduating today. It's been a real pleasure getting to know you over the last three years and I am in awe of what you've managed to achieve. Please don't stop reading, don't stop writing and definitely don't stop asking those really difficult questions. Have a wonderful day. I really do like wearing my silly hat at graduation ceremonies so I'm gonna wear this one for you today in honor of you. Have a wonderful day. Congratulations. I will not miss having to wear these silly hats doctors are wearing. Actually, I hate them. Uh, but in solidarity to my colleagues that already own one and will show up in videos with one in their on their head, I did look around in my flat and I found this silly hat, which I will have to wear, as I said, in solidarity. Congratulations to our fantastic politics and international relations students. In difficult circumstances, your talent and determination shone through. You produce some outstanding work that you can be proud of, particularly on your dissertations. For students who took my module, we didn't get Brexit done, but I hope you have fond memories of Leicester and I wish you all the best in the future. I'm thinking today especially of my awesome dissertation students who wrote 10,000 words under the pandemic conditions without the library, without spaces to sit and work and think without takeaway coffee and without each other and they did it and they wrote work that was just so good i was blown away by how by the achievement of that it was fantastic hi class of 2020 this is a quick message just to say so well done uh, for your achievements uh, i know this has been a really tough term and a tough year I would say for most of you so well done wishing you all the best for the future uh, and don't forget us if you need references and so on hello class of 2020 and many congratulations on this your virtual graduation day the teaching is the most enjoyable, most rewarding and exciting part of being an academic. It's the reason why we choose to do what we do. The teaching is not simply about what you learn from us, 
but it's also crucially about what we learn from you. And I wanted to take this chance to thank you uh, for broadening my horizons over the past three years, for helping me become a better academic than I was the day when you first met me. I'd like to offer my warmest congratulations to all of you graduating today. It's such a shame that we can't be with you in person to celebrate in the usual way. Um, it's been such a pleasure to teach you all and you should be really proud of your achievements during the time that you've spent at the University of Leicester. Um, I've been really struck by the quality of work that you've produced and uh, I've read some fantastic work this year. Um, for those of you who did my parliamentary studies course, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's really a fun course to teach um, and I hope we had a, a good trip to Westminster on that. I'm so sorry that we can't have a live graduation ceremony this year, but we all want you to know how very proud we are of you. We know that many of you were already doing your university studies while working, caring for family members, or facing your own personal health issues. And your achievements are all the more impressive under the current circumstances. Okay. And I'm so lucky to have met you. I really look forward to seeing you in person again and raising a proper glass of you and not a mug. And I'm wishing you all the best. Take care. So allow me to raise a toast to you, the class of 2020, until we see each other next in fancy gowns and with silly hats. Here's to your success. Cheers. Most important, be kind, be generous. Well done. Well done to you all. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all in person for a proper graduation next year. Please do stay in touch in the meantime, and many congratulations again. But I also wanted to wish you all the best for the future. Um, I know we're facing very uncertain times at the moment, and if we can do anything to help you out during the next stage, then do let us know about that. And keep in touch. Congratulations to all of you. Best of luck. I'll be thinking of you. Please keep in touch and let me know how you're doing and how you're getting on. I'm not just saying that, I really do want to know. But for now, thank you. And I really look forward to seeing you all um, in real life um, at a graduation, either in January or July next year. But for now, happy virtual graduation. Now, every one of you will have come to this university with different goals and different ambitions. And for each of you, the success of your time here will be measured in different ways. Some purely intellectual and academic, some adventurous, some transactional, some joyful, some in terms of self-discovery, and doubtless many a mixture of any or all of these. So as well as celebrating all of our students' achievements collectively in this formal, though virtual graduation ceremony, we also have a number of specific prizes in our school. Now, these are often the product of legacies and bequests and have been established, some very long established, to reflect particular categories of student work, but also to reflect the particular academic areas of interest and expertise of those people who have left us their bequests in this way. So we're now going to announce the winners of our 2019-20 academic prizes which we'll do all in a row before then giving you the chance to share your appreciation of those winners collectively uh, at the end. We have two prizes. The winner of the Morris Hookham Prize, which is for the best final year student in politics, goes to Kessie Earl Philpotts. And the winner of the RL Borthwick Prize for the best politics dissertation goes to Turi Jalake. Congratulations to both of you. Now, before we move on to the final stage of today's ceremony, I know too that members of your students' union executive also want to share their congratulations with you, alongside some university alumni and friends. Hi everyone, I'm Mia, I am your student union president, and I just wanted to take this time out to say a huge congratulations. You've made it, you're graduates. Um, this year has probably been the most tumultuous year or one of for students on campus at Leicester. Um, you are the first and only students to go through a whole pandemic and graduate. Um, I know that the ceremonies have been postponed and to a lot of students that will be awful um, and a really huge opportunity that they were looking forward to having. 
Um, but I hope to see as many of you as possible um, next July and next January celebrate in person. Wishing you all the best um, in your next endeavours and well done because you made it. Hi everyone, my name is Adnan, I'm the Students' Union Education Officer. Just a huge congratulations from me to all of you for graduating. I know it's in unfortunate circumstances, um, but well done even so, and I hope you're all safe. Um, remember what you've learned, not only in your degree, but from each other and from the people you've met in your time here, um, and utilise that to, to help change things and to help change the world. I, I have faith that everyone here has, has an ability to, to impact things and to really uh, progress the world in a more just and sustainable way. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Magaya and I'm your Liberation Officer. So I really want to congratulate you on this amazing, amazing achievement. You guys have been through so many hurdles this year, the biggest one being coronavirus, but you came out in the end and here you are flourishing on this amazing day. So today I really want you to remember your experiences, go out in the world and slay it because the world is definitely your stage. Hi guys, I'm Carly, your wellbeing officer. I want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who's graduating this year. You have overcome so much throughout your degree. Not only have you had to deal with strikes, but you've also graduated in spite of a global pandemic. Just know that you can do anything you put your mind to and overcome all obstacles in your way. I wish you all the best of luck and I know that you are all going to accomplish incredible things. Congratulations to our fellow 2020 graduates. We know it's not been our year, but we hope you're taking some time to celebrate your achievements. Hi there, I'm Martin Cullen, Chair of the University's Alumni Association, and I just wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on your graduation and welcome you to our 200,000 strong alumni community. Really well done, and we look forward to welcoming you to an alumni event as soon as we can. Hi everyone, my name is Will Tudor, I'm an actor. I graduated from Leicester in 2008. I just want to say a massive congratulations for graduating today in what is an incredibly turbulent, uh, uncertain time. You've done absolutely brilliantly, so congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself, so well done. Go and celebrate, have an amazing time, and all the best for the future. Well done, everyone. Hello, my name is Johnson Long, leader of Hong Kong alumni community. It's been a very tough year in 2020, but you guys made it. Congratulations to all the graduates. For those who want to come to Hong Kong, I'm here and welcome you. Hello, I'm Aaron Porter, a graduate in 2006 and the first Leicester alum to be president of NUS. Today will be one you never forget. Looking back on an experience I hope you can cherish with fondness. Whether it's the friendships that will last a lifetime, the new experiences and the horizons that have been opened for you, and for some moving away from home for the first time. Leicester is now an indelible part of your life as you move on to the next chapter. Best of luck. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jonathan Tai, President of Leicester Alumni Ghana. Congratulations on the occasion of your graduation and we really can't wait to welcome you to the alumni body. Just like we say in Ghana, Akwaaba. Congratulations one more time. Hi, this is S. Once for Goldsmith here. Wow, congratulations, you made it. And one good thing about graduating in lockdown is you don't have to wear a mortarboard. Trust me, those hats are a nightmare, especially if you've got an afro. Plus, you are the very first students in history with 2020 vision. At last, we can go out there and make this crazy old world a much better place. I'm going to be beside you all the way. Aluta continua. This is Jamal Anderson from the Leicester Riders. I just want to wish you the very best for the future. Um, congratulations for graduating in these difficult times. It's amazing that you've done so. And, and I wish you all the best. Take care. Hi, it's uh, Brendan Rogers here from Leicester City. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish uh, all the graduates at Leicester University big congratulations. Uh, enjoy your graduation day and obviously uh, safely have a great celebration this evening and uh, I'm well done.
finally today, I want to return to pick up some of the themes from my earlier introduction, and which resonated through the messages that you've heard now from individual colleagues on those video clips. Many of you I know are returning here to take up a place on a master's degree this October, and we look forward to engaging with you again then. Some of you may remember that first meeting in your first week here as an undergraduate. If you do, you may remember that we challenged you to push yourself as individuals, to stretch yourselves intellectually, to test truths, and to help us collectively to build our learning community for the better. It's been a privilege to watch all of you on that journey. You've changed yourselves. Working with us in that learning community, you have also changed us. Now go out and change the world. In a moment, we're gonna finish by looking back on those adjectives that you chose to describe how you're feeling. But before we do that, I'd like you all to take the opportunity uh, in the established way of uh, congratulating people on their achievements, to applaud yourselves, to applaud each other on your amazing opportunities and how you've come through them this year. Well done, everybody.